so you can be jumping you keep that tight and real okay we are out here good morning guys good morning Dark Sizzle Nation hope you guys are great today we are deep sea offshore fishing today is one of the last days that Connor is here in town my brother US Marine and this is going to be one of the last days we take him deep sea fishing as well so line first love bait we just went out we instantly hooked up to a fish we got nice mahi on and uh, so go ahead and follow your fish good job good job Connor has been crushing it out here catching a ton of tuna and now he's catching mahi Closer, come a little closer, see so your line doesn't touch. Yep, good job, good job. Got him! Nice. We gotta keep her mahi in the boat! Ooh. Connor's been wanting to catch mahi and actually like specifically target them, but with the conditions we've been having lately, it's kind of tough to run out there in seas like this. So I'm really happy that we were able to get him a mahi that is definitely a keeper. Also considered a schoolie, which is a smaller size mahi. So that's a nice. score. Sweet. Oh, he's pulling drag. Oh, he's going to the bottom. Gotta get him up, gotta get him up. I don't know, man, this is all on bottom. Bottom fishing, we just drifted in. It's about a few minutes after we caught that mahi. And um, a lot of rain around today, but you know, that's the price you gotta pay sometimes in order to catch fish. So in between these rain, these rain storms, I just dropped down a live pilchard on the bottom. Have to, you guys know me. I love my, my bottom fish. And I think it's a really nice fish, so we're gonna find out right now. Yeah. Is that a cobia or a shark? Hang on. Yeah, a little cobia. Gap him. Or no, he's a giant remora. Woo! Cobia and Boynton! Nice! I honestly thought it was a shark, a remora. Remoras and cobia look awfully similar to each other. So that's a juvenile cobia. We're gonna get the measurements on him real quick, but I don't think he's a keeper. Okay, not a keeper cobia. They have to be 33 inches minimum, minimum on the fork length measure. So that fish is nowhere near close. We didn't even bother measuring him. In the water he goes. Big dolphin jumping, big dolphin jumping. Yeah. It's late, but leave it for a second. Leave it for a second. What is it, a dolphin? that rod up, no sudden movements, don't jerk that line. And we're gonna get that fish in this time. Nice and steady, wins the race. Hooked up on another fish. We had a couple of other mahi on, smaller ones, and then a couple that ended up popping the hook really close to the boat. And uh, we're just trying to catch another mahi that just jumped all over the place. We got a commercial boat right next to us, praying to God he does not cut us off because they don't care. Oh, here he comes, great. To that face again. You gotta keep that rod tip up and just steady cranks. And you wanna make sure you keep tension on that line because dolphin, mahi, mahi love to jump all over the place, shake their mouths, they love to spit that hook. So, tighter the line, the better. We're getting close though. Cross my fingers, he gets in the boat. Whoa. Pretty lit up fish for Connor. Woo nice. Solid fish for Connor. That is definitely a gaffer size mahi mahi. Uh, I got a gaff shot kind of in the middle of the meat, but who cares? He's in the boat. Um, but I'm going to start working on my gaff shot so I get it in the head. But anyhow, that's a solid bull mahi bull because he's got this uh, broad forehead going on right here. Really? Kind of looks like a bull to me, but well, no. we'll double check. Um, the, the cows are more slanted, but we'll see. Anyhow, it's a smaller fish, so juveniles like that are gonna grow big one day, but this guy's probably like a seven, eight pound fish, so pretty happy for Connor. Maybe we can get him another big one. What do you think, Connor? Awesome, let's keep going. Good bite? Yeah. It took forever. <laughs> hey, nice mahi, guys. That was a, finally a decent sized one. But I want to tell you guys how we're fishing, you know, because we like to keep you guys informed. And if you saw our video, uh, the last video, we caught those tuna, we're doing the same exact thing today. And that is we're just drifting right outside of Boynton Inlet between like, I don't know, 200 feet and 100 feet. And we're just drifting live pilchers that we bought. And we're drifting them on top. I usually use mono. And down low, I usually like to put, you know, a wire trace on there because you're going to catch more kingfish and wahoo on that low bite. And uh, today, the uh, we're getting a mahi bite and they're all biting on the mono. I had a wire line out on top and they didn't bite that. So you got to, you know, kind of feel it out what's going on there. So uh, 
just two top lines with mono and a simple you know, 5 ball with 6 with mustad hook. A uh, circle hook just depends on how big your bait is, how big your hook is. And then we got uh, a line or two you know, going down with a little weight on it. And very simple, anyone can do it. And uh, hopefully we're gonna catch some more fish here. What do you think, Sizzle? I'm excited. <laughs> it seems, uh, I'm so shocked you haven't caught a tuna because it's the same exact conditions where we were catching tuna in the last video. So but maybe we'll get one, we'll see. But either all, I mean, either way, it's a good day fishing so far. Yeah, you know, every day of fishing is a totally new day. You know, you got to get out of here and, and you got to see what's going on. You can have an idea from yesterday, but again, especially in the ocean, every day is a new day. So uh, we're doing great today so far too. And also, I want to mention, also I want to mention Connor Ura Hill. Today is his like second to last day of leave. He's here visiting us. Uh, we've got a great time, but um, hopefully comments in below, give him your prayers. He's going to his first official station over on the West Coast and uh, it's gonna be awesome. He's gonna make us all proud and preserving our freedom. Now to use mahi right there, but I just want to let you guys know that I just, you know, we're running really low on live bait. I have like two or three left. So I threw out a, a dead bait just on a, on a hook, okay? Now no matter what you guys are doing, if you're drifting, bottom fishing, always, if you have nothing else, just throw out a dead bait. And we just picked up that mahi. That mahi avoided all the other live baits, hit the dead bait. You will catch kingfish. I've hit, caught sailfish like that. Just have a bait, a top line drifting at all times. That's all I'm saying, right? You made it work. I made it work. Who caught that fish? You. That's right. Captain Brian. Captain Brian. Captain Pudding. Sizzle looks awful cute today. I don't know what it is. But Jeez, thanks. I don't feel awful cute. I like these new bottoms. Are those new bottoms? Yes. From Australia. And it took forever to get them, but I finally got them. And these are like whale shark, uh, whale shark print fabric. crying and fishing. Oh, he's peeing, he's pooping. He just pooped all over me! Oh. Look at me! Oh, oh get out of that close. <laughs> I'll try to get this hook out fast so I can get rid of him and get him back in. It might be legal, but I'm gonna throw him back anyway. Okay, got it. Let me see. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, man, he's a slimy motherfucker. Yeah, now you can't hold fish. Come on, go again. He's legal, actually. Oh. Alright. Sizzle, give me a hug. Ew. Give me a hug. It's on your neck. It's on my neck. No, you Let's didn't make a. So, you guys, the pudding tip of the day today is when unhooking a mahi, don't hold the butthole towards your body. The anus goes away from you unless or the anus should point the other direction otherwise you make your anus out of yourself I don't know anyway tip of the day keep the fish's butthole pointing away tip of the day buttholes tip of the day is buttholes away Now time to get to work again and start filling in the fish we caught today. But epic day on the water. It was honestly a short day on the water for us considering sometimes we spend eight, nine hours out there fishing. We were only out there four hours and we caught four fish. So I couldn't be happier. I'm pretty happy. Connor caught his biggest dolphin ever. So that was awesome. And the previous day too. So we've just been killing it with Connor. And unfortunately, that was one of the last fishing trips with Connor until he's on his next leave. So you guys will be seeing him in a few months from now. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure if you want to follow Connor on his, advance, on his adventures, 
his Instagram is linked down in the description below if you want to follow him there that would be great he would appreciate it but um it's just a beautiful afternoon gonna finish up these fish gonna have some fish tacos tonight land shark lager we're good to go and we're really excited because in our next trip away from Florida will be to San Francisco in California on the west coast of the United States I have never been to the west coast west coast I'm super super excited it's gonna be a great adventure and we're going there specifically to meet with patreon um, and have a great meeting with them so if you guys don't know about patreon that's also linked in the description below check it out and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get to work but thank you guys so much for watching this video we appreciate you as always we wouldn't be able to do that do this without you guys watching you know that so until our next adventure follow your dream and keep on catching